Hey, 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 and it's a beautiful day in Casino Meisterland, and yes, tis the season to be jolly. It's the Christmas season in Casino Meisterland, which is strictly a secular holiday here. Ooh. We celebrate giving and goodwill, and take time out for our family, for sure. spend some quality time, uh, play some games together, go for walks, Say more or less chill with one another, like I'm doing with you. It's chill time. See my land. And um, maybe too. And it's during this time that I reflect back on the year and consider the awardees for the Casino Meister Awards. Uh, the Casino Meister Awards are given every year during the first couple of weeks in January, which award the best and worst in online gaming. The best casino group, the worst casino group, the best affiliate program, best player experience, worst player experience. Uh, biggest Spammer, uh, Best New Casino, and the coveted Worst Casino of the Year. <laughs> and of course, the Best Casino of the Year. <laughs> yeah. What they do, yeah. what they die, stick a needle in your eye. <sighs> I'm even open to uh, suggestions on what you'd like to see. Uh, just visit our forum and look for the thread Best and Worst Awards 2008. And um, I'll take your suggestions into account. Yeah, right. And uh, speaking of awards, I've been asked a few times about why I don't have the membership vote on the Best Casino of the Year, etc. Well, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, something like that is too, uh, it's too easy to be abused, right? Um, you used to see this in the past. Uh, there were a few websites that um, had their membership vote on, you know, the best casino, best casino group, whatever. And um, all over, over, all over Cyberland, uh, casinos started to give their players five to, you know, ten dollar bonuses to vote for them. Well, um, this pretty much screwed everything up. <laughs> um, yeah, because the screwed up thing was once one casino began to do it, um, all the rest started doing the same thing. Uh, it took all meaning away from the awards, and that's something that uh, won't happen here uh, at Casino Meister. And um, yeah, this is why I take full charge and responsibility for them. These are the awards that matter. Moving on. Well, there has been some messed up stuff going on in the cyberland of online gambling. Yeah, there is a situation of Grand Privé. You gotta be shitting right? me. A casino group that has a history of snafus and screw-ups, right? Who can forget the incident of Christmas 2005 where their support staff decided to take a holiday? Say what? Or when in 2006 uh, they decided not to pay a player who was not of legal age in her jurisdiction uh, to play at the casino. That was a messed up situation. And a number of minor things, but in time these screw-ups were more fixed, yeah. Well, it looks as though they have just took a serious nosedive into Rogueland. Mm -hmm. They announced a few weeks ago that they were going to close up shop. Uh, the U.S. market, which I'm guessing is making up a large percentage of their business, is non-viable for them. So they announced that they were shutting down. Well, what a bummer. Uh, but that's life in Cyberland. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! But then they stated that they were going to keep the casinos open, but shut down their affiliate accounts. Well, that would be fine and dandy. Uh, but the problem is that the affiliates uh, who have been loyal to them for the last several years uh, just got screwed over something fierce. This mm -hmm. is some bullshit. Uh, let me explain. An affiliate is a webmaster who receives a percentage of the profit from the clients they uh, send customers to. This is a business model common to the travel industry, adult industry, Amazon.com, and the casino and poker industry. Many webmasters earn their living from these marketing programs. And uh, when the webmaster sends a customer to the client, the agreement is, in most cases, uh, for the lifetime of the player. In this situation, Grand Privé has decided to close their affiliate program and to stop all future payments for those webmasters whose players are still active. 
Bad casino practice. Bad <laughs> casino. Yeah, trust has been shattered. The casino group will continue to profit while tossing hundreds, if not thousands, of webmasters into the cold. Ew. Yeah. If they are willing to do this with their business partners, how do you think they plan on treating their players? Hey. <laughs> During our Halloween special, I presented three tales of terror. Hmm. One was entitled, Biz and Die. And this was a story of a man who chose to play at firstroyalcasino.biz, and he was owed winnings, and when he submitted his complaint at Casino Meister, who, no one from firstroyalcasino.biz ever responded to Max's email. <laughs> Max, of course, Hello, being Dad. the manager of our PAB, um, Pitch Bitch, and complaint section. The operator called me the other day and he was a bit concerned about being in the road pit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and he was a bit concerned because uh, the player was paid. Mm -hmm. Yes, the player was paid, in fact, shortly after submitting his complaint. The player never got back to us thinking that he was paid via our efforts and that we at Casino Meister were fully aware of this. Nah. Well, you know, we weren't. No one from the casino ever responded to our email, so how are we to know? Hmm? The bottom line is, if Max or I are emailing you concerning a player issue, make an attempt to respond. Thank you. And players, please keep us updated on your issue's status. Uh, we may perform feats of amazing grace at Casino Meister, but we do not have or we do not use crystal balls. <laughs> yeah. We might have them, we just don't use them. Yeah. It is a season to be jolly, and at Casino Meister, it's about giving. Don't be a Scrooge. Take a look at our donations page at Casino Meister and give a little. Yeah, especially you players out there who are making massive winnings at some of your favorite casinos. Um, and yes, you two operators who are profiting off your generous, um, <laughs> your generous players, uh, there are plenty of charities to choose from. And if there is one you'd like to see listed, just give me a shout and I'll check it out. Remember Ebenezer Scrooge's epiphany after being visited by those four spirits? Yeah, if you reflect on the real meaning of this holiday season and the innate responsibility we have of caring for our fellow human beings, find a number within yourself and give a little. you really feel nice by doing so. Yes, Master. So from here, I'll sign off hoping that all of you are having a wonderful holiday season and I'll hope you'll find some inner warmth and grace.